let's do one two three fundraising one two three and i know that's like the biggest challenge to say how where do i start okay so look at your yellow pages and find your organizations it can be nonprofit organizations it can be schools and when you're finding organizations you have to make sure that you don't get discouraged with the no's yeah okay so this is what i do i call i i have a goal of calling at least five a day mm. and i ask to speak to the person that's in charge of the fundraisers mm. and if that person is not there i ask for a uh, name number yep. and email yep. address okay yeah. then once i have a list of at right. least five um, interested people mm -hmm. then i send my emails i go to your avon.com on the fundraiser and right. i copy and paste the um, solicitation letter with the flyers that i'm going to use okay okay um we're using um Teddy bear. I mean, eduardo mm -hmm. and we're using the flyers and i just found out from marta Cheap, you know, they're really cheap. 25 envelopes for three dollars. Wow, and the envelopes. I knew about the envelopes. It's only 8.50. And she already $8. got oh wow, eight dollars and fifty cents <laughs> for 25 fun for rate, 25. 25 flyers. We were the like, the girl and I we went, What? Okay, I can order another set. Look, you guys, and that was so confusing because mm -hmm. I tried yes. to order them yeah. and, and it turned out to be over a hundred dollars. I'm like this no. is not duplicatable. <laughs> <laughs> if I tell somebody, do a fundraiser with no. 20 participants and pay $100, no, 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 no. they're not going to do yeah. it. So, mm -hmm. see how I learned from everybody else? Yeah. See, I knew um, I did. Post it, girl. Post it. I am. Um, no, I already did. So yeah. I posted her picture. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so. Can you go to your A1.com? Your A1.com. Okay, yeah, the solicitation letter. So now. If you have a goal, say, okay, I want to meet with you. The most important thing is to find out the goal of the organization, okay? How much money they want to raise. That should be your first question. And don't take as much as we can. Don't mm. take that. No. They have to have a, a goal. They like have a to. Number, exactly. Amount. They have to have an amount of how much they want to make, okay? And you can't give them that. They have to give it to you. So um, let's say that they, that they tell you, okay, I want, um, I want to raise $2,000. Mm -hmm. Or I want to, let's say, let's say I want to raise $3,000. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let them know so that it's easy and it comes to your mind. You say, look, we work with organizations who want to raise $2,000 and that can be done with 20 participants okay that's a five thousand dollar fundraiser at 40 percent you're gonna make two thousand and we're gonna keep 500 for our costs mm -hmm. you don't even have to tell them that you're gonna keep your 500 at 40 percent we're giving you 40 percent mm -hmm. uh, for that mm -hmm. and then we're so covering the cost of the flyers and we're covering the cost of the materials um, all you got to do is get your 20 people together. Now, make sure that they understand that it's not a fundraiser without active participants because you will go in there and do a fundraiser and no one will sell a dime. Mm -hmm. So make sure that the cost is pretty clear to them. Mm -hmm. Okay, you let them know that, listen, the participants that you are including in this fundraiser, are they active? Do they believe in the cause and why you are raising funds? Mm -hmm. Okay? And, and mm -hmm. 
let them know that you need one person in house okay to follow up yeah so the responsible person for that so they can Pretty collect the, the money person, the contact person more like it yeah I'm gonna tell you why especially for the schools when the, the kids start their fundraisers and they make a sale say oh teacher I made a sale I made a sale so I did a fundraiser one time where I had to run every day to go pick up the kids because yes. <laughs> <laughs> I know they have money I was like I got to get that money. If not, they're mm. going to spend it. So yeah. you want to make sure that you are have somebody in-house to collect the money. the money and the orders. And the only person that you go through is that person in-house. Mm -hmm. So question, huh? mm -hmm. 20% is funded for $5,000 fundraiser for 40%. Mm -hmm. So they're making the gain is 2000 that's the one that's the $2,000 yeah. for them. For them. Okay. That's the game. So now, let's say that we want to make $4,000. Okay? Mm -hmm. The lady we're doing the fundraiser. Oh, that's not. Oh, is that in. why you um, tagged me on it? Okay. Mm -hmm. You should have said something. I, I just saw Maybe the tag so. and I didn't know. Oh, no. Maybe because I have to make... We we haven't started. Okay, but no, but tag started. me and they say yes. we're raising funds for. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good, good. A little slow, but I will. Very good. Okay, so mm -hmm. let's um let's go over the um the the next mm -hmm. the next steps. Mm -hmm. When you uh, once you have the fund the fundraiser already um, established mm -hmm. and you have a person in house, that person is going to collect all the monies, all the orders, and you're going to have a deadline for that fundraiser. So two weeks, I give them two weeks. I don't try to drag a fundraiser, two weeks mm -hmm. for um, every fundraiser. And then I allow them another week for the strugglers, the stragglers. So you're going to have maybe... 50% or more people turn in their order, but not the full 100%. So that's why you allow an extra allow week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that they can. So the turnaround is three weeks. You, no, two the weeks. Month. No, two weeks in for regular, for the additional week. That's what they say. But don't say, don't tell them that. Don't tell them about the extra week. Oh, okay, because <laughs> I was reading. No, the thing is like, because I was reading. Um, in about three weeks, you can make this fundraiser, so mm -hmm. you can bake in one of the samples that they have. I don't yeah, know because that. yeah, because so they're got yeah, they're got. But you don't want to tell you don't want to tell them that it's three weeks. You mm -hmm. want to tell them it's two weeks, and then day. when the deadline comes and you don't have all the orders, you say, mm -hmm. okay, we need an extension. I'm gonna give you an extra week. Get your participants on the ball so that we can close the fundraiser mm -hmm. and you guys can get the money. Mm -hmm. So once you have, okay, you already have all the money collected from the participant. Mm -hmm. Now you keep 60% of that money. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah, because you're giving 40. And then they keep the 40%. Now, mm -hmm. there's some organizations that work differently. Mm -hmm. They have trust funds, mm -hmm. especially the schools. Mm -hmm. So you have choices. Just make sure that they understand that they must have the money to pay for the order mm -hmm. at the time mm -hmm. that you're placing the order. So well, they must it. issue you either a check right. or they must issue you um, a money order, whatever it is yeah. that they work with, mm -hmm. um, so they to can pay the entire to thing. pay the, the 60%. The schools, yeah. are Lee, Lee County schools, they don't have trust funds. They uh, they don't have accounts like that. What they do have is probably put it in the, into an account and give you the money, but more likely we are collecting cash. Okay. Not, you know what I'm saying? If we just make a check payable to cash, not. But most not. organizations won't do that. They will make the check payable to you. Okay, well, you know what we did with this lady? We told her, if cash only, 
Oh, no, no. Yeah, but you're doing a personal fundraiser. Yeah, yeah. this is the company. Yeah, but when yeah. you do, okay. So if they make the check to, they cannot make the check to anyone. No, they'll make the, the they'll make the check they'll make the check to you. To you. That's sixty okay. percent. Mm -hmm. It depends on how they She's work. I've had organization I have churches that have paid for the order. Yeah. Uh when when I submit the order, they use their credit card to pay for the order and then they mm -hmm. issue me. What a she's separate. trying to say okay. is when the customer is trying to, to pay, pay the, the lady who say, Okay, I want to buy from you, I like this. If she say I have a check. To the organization. Thank you. To the mm -hmm. school. To the, to the school. school. Mm -hmm. No checks payable yeah. to you. Do no. not take them. No. Yeah. No. That's why I'm saying every school has either rules, a yeah. bank or a trust yeah. fund, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, you are, remember, you are the director of the orchestra. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you don't make it easy for you, Mm -hmm. It's not going to be duplicatable for your team. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So don't collect money. Don't run yeah. credit cards for customers. Mm -hmm. no. Make sure that the organization is involved with that because they have their own rules as far as tax yep. and yeah. as far as everything tax else. Yeah. Same. Most of the school have taxes. Yeah. Same. They have the tax certification mm -hmm. and you have to provide that. That's when you do the enrolling of that, right? The application. You enroll them. Yeah. All of that you need. Exactly. So mm -hmm. every every organization is gonna have their rules. So either Eduardo yeah. and the flyers. Hi, oh, just you just gave me the best news about the flyers. So I know. I you just made my you. day. Oh! <laughs> she is not gonna sleep. No, I'm she's not. Gonna I'm gonna order. I'm gonna be here. I order. Yes. I you order. have to pull. Woo -hoo. <laughs> Okay, let's talk about so, okay. when do, once we place the order, when do we tell them to get the merchandise? A week or two weeks? No, the same way that uh, you get your merchandise as an Avon order. I'm no, I'm talking, I'm, you know, four you have, days. Yeah, but four days. Yeah, because four if I'm going to, okay, I give them a... You don't want, what, you, just, you just jump, okay. No. Here, you just talk to the organization, you give them two weeks right mm -hmm. the organization wants you they have to sign that contract with you right don't make it complicated yeah, yeah. Don't, no, make, don't, no. don't make, don't make it complicated anything. yeah yeah do make that's it what I'm saying. Look, that's listen. what they're saying on the thing. listen do make them sign yeah but that's totally yeah. not yeah. even Close important yeah. yeah just put your papers that you yeah. have to give them the timeline the yes. agreement yeah. Yeah. the dates those are the most important thing the race the rest is paperwork yeah, yeah. put mm -hmm. it in a folder and tell them look these yeah. are the paperwork that you have to sign so i can submit them yeah. to the fundraising they'll fill it out they'll okay. fill it so out you hit in the folder yeah. and they take care of them. and i need the uh um tax-free form tax exempt form yeah Mm -hmm. At the time that they sign the papers, you need to the have that form. The agreement form. Yeah. The tax agreement form. Okay? So, see, that's when people get complicated. Yeah. Yeah. Because, yeah, because they, man, they, how many forms? Mm -hmm. Look at this. And then what is this for? And then it's just the same, like this. What, you, uh -huh. Yeah, you have to see yeah. it the right way. And they it. have, um, inside there, they have a little, pl a little thing that you can send with the student. To cooperate, I don't know if you saw that. You can send that. You can that send. You can send and say we're gonna be doing yeah. this. You wanna? But you know. Them. But the you know what? Itself, yeah. Let me tell you how easy it is. Get the envelope. fundraising envelope. Yep. Put a label outside. Mm -hmm. Orders are due by this day. Mm -hmm. Online orders can be purchased, and then your website. Any inf any questions, mm -hmm. Sayo and your phone number and then put several business cards inside the collection envelope so that the students can give it to the people that order so that they know who to contact for that yes mm -hmm. okay that's all you have to do and let them know look i'm gonna have 20 business cards in each collection envelope mm -hmm. so that anybody that buys can contact me Okay. So at the end, have two raffles. We're using this one, one for the one who sells the most, and one, one for the one who sells to the most. 
Okay, I'm gonna stop the recording and then. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Woo